hey what's going on guys we have uh, i have this question right here it's asking determining the force in members ef cf and bc of the trust state the members are in tension or compression so if you have questions like this if they say ef uh, cf this one and bc so what i have to do is i have to cut the part that's connecting all three of them so if i cut it i will get three this part and if you see there are two forces acting on it right here and for here it's one force right and since we have this one force right here I would like to take this part it's better to solve it so I am going to draw this separately it's going to be like this and we have E here D here and C here and let's uh, Put the direction this is we know this 300 acting downward 300 pounds and also there's a force acting on this side and also there's a force along this this corner right here along this corner this is going to be cf cf bc and what else we have this force, uh, there's a force acting on it. Let's name it uh, dy. And also, we have something ef acting on this side. So it's it doesn't matter which is. Sometimes you might put the direction uh, wrong, but it it's not a problem because when you find the solution, if you find uh, if you solve for this direction and get it negative, it means you got the direction wrong then you you just have to flip the direction right so it's not a problem so first of all we have this one and let's see what we can do here so we need to know we need to know this one so in order to do that let's take the total uh, mom, moment around a so if i find the moment around a it's gonna be six feet times so total moment is zero in statics and let's take clockwise positive so if I take clockwise positive it's going to be 300 times 6 plus 300 times 12 12 times 300 and this is acting opposite direction dy so we can put negative dy this acting counterclockwise so I put it negative dy times uh, 18 feet 18 equal to 0 so if I solve for this one, if I solve for this one, dy comes out to be 300. Um, so dy comes out to be 300, 300 pounds. So this is my answer for dy. Since we have this one here, let's see. So we can put this dy is equal to 300. So since we have this one, let's find the moment around C and see what can, we can find out. So this is C right here. So if I take moment around C, if the total moment is zero in static, and let's take uh, let's take counterclockwise positive. So if I take counterclockwise positive, I will end up with uh, dy dy. So this this is clockwise higher. So Counterclockwise is opposite side. So if we take counterclockwise, uh, dy dy is in six feet distance. So it's gonna be dy times six plus ef. This one ef is acting acting so this direction is clockwise right so if this is clockwise I have to put negative so negative EF negative EF and negative EF times so we have to know this angle to find the uh, this angle I can use this one because you see 
this is making z z x z sign so it means if this is 30 this is 30 so i can put ef sign sign 30 sign 30 is equal to 0 so if i solve for p no d by already is 300 and if i solve for ef comes out to be 600 yeah 600 and this is pounds and EY this is this is 6 times times sin 30 because because uh, this this is this distance 6 6 feet so it's going to be 6 times sine 30 so EF comes out to be 600 pounds so from this one I can so let's find the vertical components so vertical component if I take vertical components in statics the total vertical components is 0 so if I take up direction positive mm, we have dy positive here also we have 300 acting downward so I can put negative 300 and and we, we only take in this uh, this triangle right so don't forget that dy minus 300 and this one cf uh, cf is making making 5 degree so we have to find 5 so let's see how we can find 5 so if we see this one this is making half of the triangle, triangle right so this triangle the total triangle is six feet long but if you take half of this is going to be three feet right here three feet and this is six feet so the total distance is going to be nine feet nine feet right so to find this find this uh, height this is the height so to find this height i can use tan theta so tan tan theta is going to be tan we know 30 so tan 30 is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse opposite over adjacent right so it's going to be h over 9 so from this one i can find h is equal to 9 tan 30 so which is going to give me 5.2 5.2 feet now from this one I can apply this one so if this is 5.2 feet I know this is this is also 3 right 3 I can use the phi again so it's going to be tan phi is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent so opposite is 5.2 uh, and adjacent is 3 so phi is going to be tan inverse 5.2 by 3 which is going to be equal to 60 degree so this is my angle for this one so now I can apply this one to here so it's going to be dy minus 300 and if I take uh, this cf it's going to be cf cf uh, sin is going upside so it's going to be positive cf sin 60 EF sine 60 and EF uh, EF we know this is 30 degrees so EF sine 30 and it's acting downward so it's negative EF wait a minute so if EF is coming this direction this is positive and So let's make sure our EF is EF is positive or negative. Let's see. So this is 300 times 6 is going to be 1800 equal to EF 6 times half 3, right? 3. So divided by 3 is positive. And if we take the right direction, so. V2 counterclockwise positive 
and counterclockwise positive yeah so dy minus 300 plus cf uh, cf sine 60 minus minus ef ef sine 30 so if i solve for solve for uh, so we know ef we can plug in ef here and if we plug ef and dy we have found the dy 300 so if we plug we can plug this one right here so we can solve for cf this whole thing is equal to zero so if we solve for cf it comes out to be 346 346.4 pounds this is my answer and the only thing we are left to found is um, bc so they are asking ef cf and bc right so we have to find bc so i am taking the horizontal component so if i take horizontal component fx because bc is a horizontal i have to use horizontal to find it so it's going to be if i take this one positive bc is going to be in the opposite direction so it's going to be negative bc and cf also opposite so it's going to be minus cf cos 60 and ef is in the positive direction so ef ef cos 30 to cf cos 30 is equal to 0 so this is gonna be so if i solve for bc we know ef we can plug in here cf we can plug in here so if i if solve for bc it's it comes out to be 346.4 lb 4 pounds so this is my answer now we have to make sure this is tension or co compression to know that i have to see the direction so if you see this is going toward each other so therefore like for example if you see something like this in a line it means it's a tension if you see something like this it means it's compression so if you see it's in this line if this is facing toward the other line it means some force is acting this side so it's when it turns and if you see the cf it's also same like that so therefore we know that's also a tension but if you see the ef ef is facing opposite to the line so if the ef line is like this if this is facing opposite and the other one is going other side it means it's a compression this is tension this is tension compression and those are the three things right three things we are to find so we have found ef we have found bc we have found c cf and we have mentioned whether it is tension or compression that's all we have to do i hope you guys like this video see you next time